This um, Leasymbol's Neovision standard test uh, is built so that we have three parts of the test so that when we measure visual acuity, we can measure binocular visual acuity usually in the center and then at the right eye on the right side, looked at from the child's side, and the left eye uh, with uh, this set of symbols here. So again, there is nothing that you can learn and remember uh, the test is new for, uh, for the visual acuity values that usually uh, we are measuring. If the child's visual acuity is very low, then we need to use uh, the upper part of the test or bring the test closer, which is also possible. And uh, then we can measure so that when we go down, measuring the right eye's visual acuity, we go down on this side and when we measure the left eye's visual acuity, we go down on this side. And again, it is very difficult to remember because the child is functioning so close to the threshold anyway. The test is very much the same as always. We ask what is the first one uh, on each line, and then when the child either makes an error or hesitates, then we go l one line up and ask the child to read all those symbols uh, on that line. And if uh, the child gets at least three out of five correct, then we go to the next line. Uh, and very often, the child can uh, then read also that, because uh, the focusing has become better, and may even see something on the uh, next line. And this way, we get the threshold uh, level of the visual acuity value quickly and easily. Then on the other side of the test, we have more crowded uh, test parts. And here, the distance between the optotypes is half of the width of the optotypes. And here, it's only one-fourth, or 25 percent, as is written here. So uh, these tests are more difficult for children who can't keep uh, the details apart, which is a very common problem of the amblyopic eyes and visually impaired eyes. So therefore, um, one of the most important tests is this 25% spacing test, because that picks, especially among the children with CP, those children who have fixation difficulties, which are very common in that group of children. So um, in the one test, we have the standard test with 100% spacing. We have the 50% spacing, and we have the 25% spacing. So actually, three different tests. And each of the tests is used very much the same. So we cover the line above and ask the child to read the threshold line. 